Renowned psychiatrist Dr. Thomas Burchard had been missing for three days when his body was found in the trunk of an abandoned BMW in the desert outside of Las Vegas. Judy Earp, his girlfriend of 17 years, was back at their home in California and sensed the doctor was in trouble. Uh, I told him repeatedly that these are not, you know, the people, you, the kind of people you want to be associating with. Judy was worried about this woman, 25-year-old playboy and Maxim model Kelsey Turner. Judy says Kelsey was extorting money from Dr. Burchard. About 300000 that I know about and possibly more. Burchard had a history of helping others and engaging with young, attractive girls he met online like Kelsey. That's according to his friend who did not want to be identified when he was interviewed by KSBW. These women were just like an escape for him to, to, to have somewhere to go. He told me he met Kelsey on a website and uh, met up with her and, and they talked and they went and had dinner a few times. Dr. Burchard's friend says the psychiatrist started spending time and money on Kelsey, even renting this condo in Salinas, California for Kelsey and her mother to live along with Kelsey's child. Even after Dr. Burchard stopped paying the rent and Kelsey moved to Vegas, the two did keep in contact. And shortly before the murder, Kelsey reached out to the doctor, according to his friend. He says, seems, seems that Kelsey's having some trouble with her boyfriend out there in Vegas. Um, he's hitting her, he's um, abusing her, and she has no money, nowhere to go. And I feel partly responsible for this. Court documents show that Kelsey Turner was in fact reported as the victim in a domestic violence case less than a month before the doctor's murder. Dr. Burchard went to Vegas to see Kelsey calling his girlfriend Judy only after he had arrived, saying he was spending the weekend and would be back on Monday. I warned him on Saturday when he was there that, you know, maybe you ought not wait till Monday to come home. Maybe you ought to just come home on the next flight. After missing his flight and not responding to calls and texts, Judy called Las Vegas police. Dr. Burchard's body was found near Lake Mead, about 25 miles outside Vegas. The actual incident occurred at a residence in the Las Vegas Valley, and then the body was found out by the lake. This is the Las Vegas home where Kelsey and her boyfriend, John Kennison, were living and where investigators believe Dr. Burchard was murdered. Kelsey's roommate, Diana Pena, told a grand jury that Kennison attacked Dr. Burchard with a baseball bat and that after the initial attack, Kelsey insisted that her boyfriend knock him out. Pena also testified that the attack left Kennison covered in blood. According to arrest warrants, police recovered a bag from the Rio Hotel. It's where prosecutors say Turner, Kennison, and Pena fled to after the murder. Inside that bag, investigators found sheets of paper ripped from Dr. Burchard's notebook that contained his banking information and passwords. Uh, additional information has come to light. Kelsey Turner was arrested in California three weeks after police recovered Burchard's body. Her extradition was delayed after it was determined that she was pregnant. She has since given birth to a girl while in custody. Her boyfriend, John Kennison, was arrested a few weeks later in Las Vegas. Both are facing murder charges. Kelsey's roommate, Diana Pena, pleaded guilty to accessory to murder and is expected to testify at their trials. A wild one out of Vegas. Uh, get a little more information. Let's bring in Austin Carter, great reporter for KTNV out in Vegas. Austin, uh, thanks for coming on the program tonight. First question everyone has is, you know, what exactly was the nature of the relationship between Kelsey Turner and the doctor? I mean, is it what we think it might be? Yeah, we are thinking so. I mean, we're talking about what was an intimate relationship with an age gap of about 42 years. Kelsey Turner at the time, 42 years old, this psychiatrist, 71 years old. And the victim's girlfriend, Dr. Thomas Burchard's girlfriend at the time, told cameras that he had sent Kelsey in upwards of $300,000 in the course of their two-year relationship. We also know this relationship was an intimate one. The doctor was traveling to Vegas to spend time with Kelsey. And we also know that he was also paying for the home he was in as well. Unbelievable. So that, that brings us to the why of it, right? So 
What are, have prosecutors released what they believe is the motivation, you know, why Kelsey Turner would murder the man who's just given her hundreds of thousands of dollars and supported her and her mom through the years? Absolutely. And that may have been what driven her to this crime if he had cut off that money, uh, certainly being accustomed to receiving hundreds and thousands of dollars. You can do the math there of how she received that over the past two years of their relationship. The interesting part of this as well was Kelsey had a boyfriend at the time, John Logan Kennison, who is also another suspect in this investigation and in this lawsuit here. So exactly the dynamic is just something of so much interest here in Las Vegas. Vegas in terms of this relationship between Kelsey and Dr. Thomas Burchard and as well as her boyfriend, how he played into all this and the role he had uh, in this killing. You know, can you describe for us the area where the body was found? The, the, you know, we've seen some photos. How far is that from, you know, where they say this all took place, which was in the Las Vegas Valley versus where uh, the doctor's body was ultimately recovered? Absolutely. Well, the body was found just about 10 miles outside of Las Vegas near Lake Mead. So again, we're in the valley here. We're in Las Vegas. We're surrounded by desert. And it's actually pretty typical for police to end up finding bodies, abandoned cars, abandoned things just left out in the desert. It's usually a place that folks try to dispose of bodies of, as we've seen, because with so much desert, there's so much empty space. It can mean that it could be days, if not weeks or months before someone discovers that body or that vehicle. But in this case, Dr. Thomas Burchard's body and his car was found in about three days. So, you know, it seems there's a couple of important potential witnesses here, right? First, you've got uh, the roommate, Diane Pena, who seemed, who's pled guilty. So she seems like she can provide a lot of information, as can the doctor's girlfriend. And that's the other head scratcher here, right? He's got this girlfriend for years, but she seems to know about the doctor and Kelsey as well. Yeah, that was a really interesting part, seeing her speak on camera, you know, after everything came out in the open and she seemed very nonchalant about it. Like she was very much aware. She was aware he was making this trip to Vegas on the weekend when he was killed. She seemed to have a rough estimate of how much money he had spent on her. So we're not sure if this may have been a pattern with Dr. Burchard over the years um, of spending money. We know this was, um, you know, a 25 year old girl. She was a former Maxim and Playboy model. Um, and if this was some sort of a pattern he had with talking uh, to women online and then trying to connect with them and spending money, Diana Pena, that roommate you mentioned there. Um, she was originally labeled a suspect, um, but she did end up taking a uh, just another murder and conspiracy charge um, instead. Uh, this is, you know, first time I heard the fact pattern here, I said, is this in Vegas? And they're like, yeah, this is a Vegas. I'm like, okay, I, I get it. Things like this happen in Vegas. Um, the Rio Hotel is also connected to all of this. Um, they found some evidence there, and it looks like some of that evidence may have been things that were taken from Dr. Bouchard. Um, for folks who've never been to Vegas, describe the Rio Hotel and Casino for us and its reputation. Absolutely. Well, the Rio is one of the off strip hotels and casinos. And what that means, it's not one of the prominent ones that you kind of think of when you come to Las Vegas, like the Cosmopolitan, the Venetian, the Stratosphere, Luxor, you name it. This is one that's a little bit tucked away, actually, probably maybe a five minute drive just west of the iconic Las Vegas Strip. Now, this is one where we have had incidents in the past, uh, not necessarily the best reputation. There have been uh, crime incidents there as there are at a lot of uh, casinos, but this may have been one that um, John Logan Kennison, Diana Pena, and um, you know the other suspect in this case decided to go to. Uh, the reason we're not exactly sure right now uh, may have been the closest one once they made that drive back uh, from Lake Mead. We're not exactly sure why they picked that hotel in particular all right well uh, now more general question what's going on in vegas these days you know we've got a, a shutdown across the country is vegas back and up and running and how about the system of justice the courtrooms in vegas what's going on out there they are, and in this case, which is what we know of, I mean, this all happened back in 2019, March of 2019 to be exact, but this trial now is being pushed possibly until July of next year, and that's really kind of a residual effect of the backlog of the court system and trying to handle these things during the pandemic. Um, so we'll see how that all plays out here moving forward. 
Austin Carter, KTNV. Awesome having you on the show tonight. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, folks, we're going to continue to track this one. All right, got a calendar call, July 8th, 2021, and a trial date. Mark that in your books, folks, because this one is due to go. July 12th, 2021, Nevada versus Kelsey Turner.